Many of us take our eyesight for granted, but if you live with choroideroma, your vision is restricted and this progressive and incurable disease can eventually lead to blindness. Toby Stroh first experienced problems with his sight when he was a boy. Mobility becomes increasingly difficult because the peripheral vision shrinks and shrinks and shrinks and ultimately I'm left with only a very small part of the core vision, the central vision, which enables me to read. But after taking part in a trial, his vision in the eye which was operated on has improved. Choroiderema is linked to a mutation in a gene and it causes the retina, the lining at the back of the eye, to degenerate. In this study, scientists injected the retina with a modified virus which is made safe. It delivers a correct version of the defective gene which halts the further loss of vision in surviving cells and can improve it too. Six months after the treatment, the patient's vision in dim light improved and a third of them could also see further down on the lines chart. With gene therapy, I agree, what we're doing is we're genetically modifying people, but what we're doing is we're genetically modifying them, I would say, in a positive way because we're putting back the gene that they're missing. So it's not as though we're trying to enhance them or make them better than normal. We are simply correcting an underlying gene defect. And we think that it's relatively straightforward to do that in the eye. The sample study was small, but it has helped participants think more positively about the future. Until then, there was no real hope. And what the fantastic thing about this trial is that it has given me and people like me um, real and tangible hope that the, as I call it, the awful inevitability of the creep of blindness, um, that is now not going to happen. Scientists say the study should offer new hope for sufferers of choroiderema, and it may eventually help in the treatment of other eye conditions. Emma Hayward, Al Jazeera, Oxford.